Okay. Hello, Julia. Hey. Hi, Keisha. Hello. Oh, hi. Hello. I have. I ha I forgot till just now when you said Keisha. Um, uh, you said I said Gia. Yeah, you said Gia, <laughs> and I said Keisha. Um, yes. <laughs> anyway, I was I was thinking about our our chosen um, fake names that we yeah. characters passed. Yes. Uh -huh. Hospital. And yes. I don't know if you keep up with all the the chatter, the different articles about General Hospital, but there was a recent one about characters. It was something like ten characters that should be brought back. To oh the yeah, I saw a headline and I didn't click on it. Well, one of them was Gia. Was it? Yeah, mm, and I was like, I'm all Keisha. for that. No, Keisha was not mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> this is rigged. <laughs> if it was like a poll, you probably all times voting yep, for Gia. Yeah, yep. oh. I kept flicking that button. Uh, no, oh. they were saying, you know, Taggart's back, and that was Taggart's uh -huh. sister, and uh -huh. it just could enrich the storyline. But I guess she's busy on, um, what is she on? Uh NYPD Blue. No, I mean, uh, not <laughs> that's that's going way back. You know, know the Tom Selleck thing. Is that still on? Um, Blue Bloods. Blue Bloods. Is that still going, or is that on? Yeah, I think so. Although I think it's it's. Geez, it's got to be wrapping up soon. I mean, his pants can't get any higher, can they? <laughs> <laughs> and I used to love Tom Selleck, America, but. Did you? Were you a? Yeah. Were you? A, I was um, a Magnum. I was a Magnum, Magnum. fan. i yeah. I did never watch Magnum, but and recently, you know, it's on various channels. So I've I've mm. caught a few, and I'm like, what is a fuss about? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's. I yeah. find it a little painful to watch, but. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know if it ages very well, but. Uh, yeah, and that Higgins guy or whatever his name is. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What the I hell? What the hell? What the, the hell? hell? Those were different times, Gia. That's, that's I all guess I can say. so. Yeah, anyway. simpler times. I think it was a nice escape kind of thing. Okay. Well, and the shorts. Okay. We had the shorts. The shorts. Know. The beach. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So that I'll, give, I'll it. give it to you. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's not fight. Let's not fight. Let's just Let's try to get fight. one through one all podcast right. without fighting. Okay. <sighs> so boring um, all right well we won't make any promises um okay. but before we really get into it we should apologize because oh, yeah. we're very late Sorry. we're very late um and it's really it's just it's mother nature sometimes you know yeah. she she takes over yeah we had a little i'm in florida and we had a little storm situation and um mm -hmm. everything is okay in our area but you just never know and mm -hmm. You know, and they were preempting GH, and I, I had a lot of hurricane snacks to polish off, and I, I just, yeah. So you were busy on your sugar and salt fueled roller. I was. I'm sure, I was yeah. like, I had my snout deep into a bucket of mint chocolate chip, trying to. Oh, my did you? Was it yeah. like good chocolate mint chocolate chip or crappy mint chocolate chip? Well, you know what? I think it was kind of halfway between like i think it was like bluebell or bonnie bell oh i think that's crappy i'm gonna say that's crappy oh well Ice that's why it was yeah. so good really because mm -hmm. i was like eh, when i saw it i was like eh that sounds like kind of a hoity-toity name you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't yeah. know ice cream very well but it sounded uh -huh. hoity-toity and so <laughs> i thought it was gonna i mean i swear and that's why i ended up with such a huge container because all the little ones were like <laughs> <laughs> I wanted was to buy it? a small container, but the little uh -huh. ones were like, you know, mint yeah. chocolate, Oreo cookie, sourdough uh -huh. starter, <laughs> salted M &M, caramel, salted caramel, <laughs> essence of Mary Creep, you know, it was like. <laughs> That's a fun train of thought there. Yeah, I just Let's unpack you know. that. <laughs> So the bottom, what is it? Bluebell? Was that what I said? Blue, Blue, Bell? Blue Bunny. Blue Bunny? Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it had a cow on it or something, though, not a rabbit. <laughs> All right, America. It might be a good time to tell you that G has had a couple of beers. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm no, with, I think I that might out. be... I, I think that's for the best tonight, Gia, because I just powered through like five episodes of Hospital. Oh, and... God bless you. That's rough. 
Okay. It was rough. I, I gotta say it was rough. I don't even know if I could okay. pick. I don't know if there were any highlights. I'm going to say it's got to be like Leo because that's really. Leo was sweet. Yeah. Leo yeah. Was giving sweet. Brooklyn two hugs. What oh, was it that nice. he was supposedly eating? I thought it was a thing of silly putty. And then she said, you're ruining your dinner. Olivia said, you're ruining your dinner. And he had to go put that back. I'm like, that was a food item he had in his hand? I thought it was like a flower or something. I don't know. I was I was in and out. But um, yeah, right. I, I didn't. <laughs> I was in and out of consciousness. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, <laughs> I don't know if this was a highlight for me, but I feel like it was an elephant in the room that needs talking about. Yeah. Um, the judge in the uh you know the deceptor case with Lucy <laughs> yeah yeah what the hell what was, <laughs> was that was that that wasn't a wig right that was just long hair i don't know but i think he would have been more appropriate as like a, the loser bass player from the eddie main band yeah you know, yeah that was do you think that was miscast that that role I was just thinking, you know, your go-to contest winner or relative mm -hmm. or something. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. I was like, well, well, how do we not? How do we not notice that? <laughs> you know. Like, yeah, I know. It was very distracting. The, uh huh. The, I'm not anti-long hair. I actually love long hair on a guy. Okay. Um, well, we can get into that another time. <laughs> <laughs> that wrong to admit no that? no okay. no it, although the way you said it was a little <laughs> bit creepy but <laughs> but whatever no you guys do those doors that's fine that's fine um anyway i just thought it was it was like dyed long hair on an older gentleman it was bizarro looking yeah wasn't it i was so distracted. i don't i don't know that i got a, a glimpse of his face just sort of the wall of hair and i thought oh, he was like that's... in his 60s you know was he, was he? Like, huh. all, i don't know okay. or, or poorly preserved 50s uh -huh. <laughs> I, 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 if you're listening whoever you are i apologize i don't look i don't look good myself I'm, I'm still, I'm <laughs> yeah we we've, we've established <laughs> that that yeah. we're nothing to look at <laughs> yeah that's why you don't see us. <laughs> yeah. We could have ratings through the roof if we did this you know, with a visual, but we, we're, we're kind. Yeah. We're not going to put you through that. Um, you, no. Well, anyway, I thought it was weird. I was like, it was weird. It was, it was weird. And I don't, I hope this doesn't offend anyone because I don't mean it to. Uh, it seems like a lot of times, not just on mm -hmm. hospital, but other shows, when there are judges, positions like that like chiefs in the police department it seems like where they'll use a minority like somehow they're like checking like a box they're just checking something. a box right okay. yeah there's something a little bit like i uh, it's not it's not good i don't think because it's they're usually like short roles you know they're not like so it's ongoing like a, like parts, a psa but, kind of thing you know yeah, yeah I, I, I don't know that, you know recently when when curtis was in the um the rehab room and we had the guy mm -hmm. with the prosthetic legs come in mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that yeah. was obviously not going to be an ongoing role, but we got a little, we got a little yeah. lesson there. You know? we, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I, there could be a little more, uh, representation, I guess, across the board, not just these little, you know, cameos. Well, what, so what, what, so, so what, 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 think, what, think, like, what like, underrepresented like, group? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Like old hipster, if that's a category, Hips, hipster doofus kind of, <laughs> yeah, hipster doofus like just, category. just, yeah, like like a douche rocker. A douche rocker. That would be a great it? band name. I'm just thinking now, like douche rocker. Elsie Williams and the douche rockers, but uh, I'd be, <laughs> I, I have a hard time hiring a rhythm section once they found out what the name is. <laughs> funny that's a funny scenario <laughs> <laughs> they'd come to the first gig and then they'd be like <laughs> i don't feel like i feel like that should have been a scene in spinal tap or something yeah. you know <laughs> well that's what that judge had a like you know like he yeah. was right has been from spinal tap yeah or something. i wonder if I, I i wonder if it was somebody that you know there was some sort of funny explanation for why he was on the show you know 
Yeah, I'd like to know. I feel like I feel like it was an elephant in the room. Like nobody was saying anything. Nobody, none. You know, Lucy <laughs> or somebody would have been like, "Yeah, oh my that's God. true. That's know? true. Yep, that would have been funny." Also, Maxi, somebody, all those fashionistas yeah. would have been like, "What the hell? Yeah. That's our grudge." Uh-huh. You know? Right. Right. Um, yeah. But I'd love to see him like next scene busking next to Eddie Main, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then and well, it would be funny because Eddie would sort of like somebody would say, "You're supposed to be running ELQ," and then the, to the other guy, they'd be, "You're supposed to be in the courtroom." And you you have a case right now, you know. <laughs> uh, anyway, oh, so I don't know if that was a highlight, but it it stuck out. In my mind. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. The positive. I'm going to give a positive. Okay. Because um, I've been drinking, maybe. Uh, I feel like we had a lot of plot forward movement on, in two storylines. That's mm-hmm. my positive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My negative yeah. is I just don't care about them enough to even retain like, <laughs> what they were. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> for example, uh-huh. um, we had a storyline where Lucy was all wound about Martin and why he was getting the 50,000 a month from right. his third ex-wife. And like, right. and it seemed to come out in the open, but then it never, yeah. Like what happened there? I don't understand. Is she fine yeah. with that now? And he's fine with that. And I don't understand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did that get resolved? Am I supposed to care? Right. Um, yeah. And I think maybe that I thought maybe I had I was in and out during that part, too, because I, I lost the thread of that. In and also. Out? Are, you, are you taking <laughs> heavy drugs or something like what? No, no. Or, I was trying to in I was, and out of the room. No, or? no. I'm, I'm in the room. I'm I'm barely moving, <laughs> barely moving. Okay. But uh, I was trying to do a little work at the same time. So um, I hope nobody from your company listens to this podcast. Well, it was it was it was after five, but I still I I was trying um, to okay. I still like I could like I could work till midnight, and I still would have work to do. So it's just you know that's how it is, isn't it? I feel that yeah. way myself. Yeah, <laughs> I could be out there with a the weed whacker right now. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, so you know. You, you know. I know. I know. <laughs> and this might be the wrong time to to address this, but um first first I would like to say that usually we wait till the very end of an episode to thank people, you know, for listening and all of that. Oh. And I, I and so probably Nobody, I feel nobody's like, actually listening at that point. Yeah, so, so probably as far now. as anyone knows, we've never uh, acknowledged their their participation in this at all. So First, yeah. we should say thank you. Thank you for everybody who's listened ever. And yeah. thank you for, to anybody who's written a positive review. Those are very, very nice. They keep us are going. We getting, are we getting those? Well, this leads me to my I'm, next point. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Did we get a bad one? <laughs> we got one recently. One, <laughs> one star. <laughs> somebody said it was like the gist of it was why would anyone want to listen to nothing for 40 minutes <laughs> and i'm thinking you know to be really accurate they should have said 40 to 50 minutes and yeah, sometimes, sometimes longer yeah sometimes you know we, we sometimes really we got more roll. nothing you know and yeah, so we keep yeah. going we don't want to short people on nothing right so, well anyway you know, they probably weren't seinfeld fans either uh, <laughs> What are you going to do? I know. I know. It didn't, it didn't really bother me, you know, because obviously if you're looking for something, you come to the wrong place and we don't, we don't hide that fact. Yeah. If you're looking for something content driven, you're barking up the wrong tree. Yeah. You wouldn't Um, have hung on for, for 45 minutes. Yeah, but the people who've hung on, yeah, you're you're apparently like our tribe or something, and God bless yeah, you. Yeah, and that, oh, yeah, and it would be really fun if we could ever figure out how to all get together somewhere. A but, meetup, we could do a meetup. Yes, um, or a flash it, mob. It'd be fun to it'd be fun to do a meetup at one of the events. Oh, at one of the star have, things. But, I yeah, think that like would be a, awesome. Yeah, like Graceland or something. Wouldn't that be? Funny? Yeah, I'd have to get an RV so I could bring the dogs. That would be funnier like just <laughs> you with all the dogs there. Think yeah funny. yeah i guess it's not Maybe impossible someday. to think that that could happen someday 
I could. We could make it happen. But I guess you have but, to. You have to make it happen. But anyway, anyway. But yeah, anyway, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. Even your one star man. Yeah, yeah. Said that. You know, that's, yeah. You're, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong at all. <laughs> we're fairly thick skinned and uh, pretty, pretty realistic about what we're, what we're bringing to the table. Yes, uh, which is mm-hmm. nothing, nothing, so. whole nothing, whole lot of nothing. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they wanted to hear more about bar shampoo or something. I feel like we've we've done a good job of leaving leaving that in the past. Um, we have. I will say this on the on the uh, in the category of body odors and. Oh, all um, right. Okay. Controlling controlling body odors. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to give the Lumi. Let's say if it's a if it's a five star rating system again, I I would say one star for the Lumi. Really? Okay. Well, I mean, all right. I don't know how but the cream got, is I working. Feel like, I feel like you got the unscented, and that's just not gonna do it for anybody. <laughs> well, I know I know half the battle is masking the scent. I I, I get that, but also. Yeah. It wasn't like it wasn't a lot of deodorant for the price, you know. It was like a yeah, a, it is pricey, right? It's yeah, pricey, so. and then it's a little soft, so it seems like it doesn't last as long. And then you know when you get to the like the last half inch or something, and it sort of falls you out of the really container. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this fell out, and it was like too smushy to get it back in. So it's like uh, fuck this, you know. So. Anyway, okay. sorry, yeah. Lumi. I was really hoping that we could have a lifelong relationship that would benefit both of us. But uh, right, we we tried stuff. We all tried. Did. We sure did. Yeah. We put ourselves out there, you know, with these yeah. products. And I, yeah. you know, to be honest, I don't think I have any more friends than I did at the beginning of the experiment. Well, I'd have lost it would a couple. Be more telling if you'd lost a few. Yeah. Be, yeah. I, well, you know, the phone's not ringing. I, I didn't know that's <laughs> what you were in it for. You know. As a, <laughs> I mean, I might have suggested something a little different, like you know, maybe like some intensive, intensive therapy or something. <laughs> the list, the list is so long, Gia. Let's <laughs> let's not go down that road. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. Let's okay. I'm thinking of one star now, and let's try to stay a little more on top to talk about General Hospital. Okay, okay. Um, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Gia. Go ahead. Another positive was Ava's blouse on today's episode. Again, okay. was that the same blouse that we enjoyed I'm not before? Sure, but I'm your task, if you choose to accept it, is to find that blouse and get it for me for Christmas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Because I loved it. It's very can, pretty. That would be a nice fabric for a lot of different things, you know, you, I think. Can but. you buy, like, soap opera stars outfits? Can you just say, like, I would like uh, this outfit and have them tell you where it came from? Um, well, that's a good question. I guess, I guess we know maybe where it didn't come from, and that's Chico's. <laughs> Well, it might have been a cheat goes, <laughs> but Ava just makes everything look stylish. So she I mean, really does. Yeah, yeah. I'm just fooling myself, thinking I'll look like Ava in it, but I I was drawn to it right from the get go. Yeah. Um, would you say it was like the the style or the pattern? Yes. <laughs> and and you didn't mention. I think the biggest thing for me were the colors. Yeah. The, well, that's what I'm. The, when I say the pattern, I mean like the oh. colors and that stuff different pattern and colors are two different categories yeah that's true that's true um but i'm thinking like what if i could find like a similar pattern and colors in a shirt that's not a down shirt hello why do you have would you have one right there that's like that already that you're trying to pawn off that's like shaped like a moo moo or something or (laughs) i'm not sure why you have to take that tone with me i'm trying to think of something nice to do for you <laughs> sorry we were gonna not fight this episode yes I'll, yes any of that would work. <laughs> okay okay all right okay all right okay. um anyway so that was a highlight um mm-hmm. i also like olivia's dress probably, i yeah, thought Olivia olivia's dress was kind of rocks or a wrap dress i thought yeah. uh nina had a killer outfit on too that sort of cream colored mm-hmm. um what do you call that material that's got a name. I don't. It's got a name. <laughs> I've got a name. Um, yeah, it's like uh, chiffon. Is that chiffon? 
I don't remember. For some reason, I can't picture Nina's outfit right She at was the wearing sort of a cream-colored suit that sort of tied in the oh, back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Sharp. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, I don't know what about, you Okay. So let's talk about Nina and Gladys and what happened there. What do you think yeah. about that? Okay. I was, for once, a little bit happy with Nina for mm -hmm. for really kind of, I don't know, like really sticking to the which is Sasha, you know, right and, right. and really not letting Gladys get away with much, although kind of took control of the conversation. Yeah. Right? Which was good. And I, I guess we knew, you know, that she wasn't going to go right to Sonny because that would have, you know, led to us a, a solution <laughs> quicker. Right. Of course we have to, we have to be dragged through this longer, you know, this agony. Um, but yeah, I thought, I thought Nina was good in that scene. And then Gladys, I was a little surprised that Gladys spilled the beans, you know, right. As much right. As she did, did. did that. That's the kind of movement you were talking about. In one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And mm -hmm. did that make her, um, redeemable in your eyes? Do you think there's a possibility of her son as a character and being redeemed because she, well, I could see out? her. I could see her staying on it as a character and somehow, you know, do, they do whatever they do and make us like people again. But if uh, it, what she said and, and, you know, disclosing all this to Nina, I don't think that made her redeemable. No, because okay. to say that, that Sasha's being hurt <laughs> and still not want to do everything possible to and, put and an end to that. And not reveal her yeah. role in how mm -hmm. it all got started because she yeah. didn't really reveal that did she i didn't think she did not really no she acted like this guy was just he's taking advantage of her yeah which is the end result of what happened but she was right. the one who started the whole thing yeah she wanted her to be hospitalized right, right? And, and, I, and i felt like that didn't get revealed and i was yeah uh -huh. i was annoyed i was starting to think oh okay and then i was like wait a minute she's not really coming clean about her role not really and no no and to say she's hurt it's easy to think of that as just like you know like she's got like a sore arm or something but when you're yeah. like messing with somebody's brain and their psyche you know there's yeah. there's yeah. no way of knowing the damage that's being done yeah that's worse yeah. than worse than gaslighting, really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which I don't fully understand what that term means, but I like it. So, yeah, it's a good term. It's a good term. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I was thinking, you know, she could be redeemed because, like, think about Brad. Uh, yeah, no, I know. There's plenty of people who've been terrible that we like. Awful. Now. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Although we haven't seen Brad in a long time, I kind of miss. I him. know. I know. What's going on? There? You know, he was supposed to be such an integral part, in, integral, integral. That's integral a hard part word to say. Of, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of <laughs> the um, backroom poker game. And he disappeared uh, from that. I know. And now I guess the poker game is no more. So yeah, what's going to happen with poor Brad? Um, And without he, it, you know, it's tough. Like it seems yeah, like they were. She was know. a great foil for him. They were, yeah. they were a great pair. And yeah, mm -hmm. he like he and Maxie kind of had like a few moments and I thought, okay, yeah. they could shift that. That would mm -hmm. be cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah. they've just kind of let him go. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's too bad. Cause he was, he was sort of a unique character. Yeah, he really was. Mm -hmm. um, let's see what else we had Cody and Sam and Cody furthering his, yeah. Um, mission to get Sasha out by getting himself committed. Yeah. Um, how did you feel about that? Those scenes? <laughs> well, uh, that all seemed a little preposterous and that Sam kind of went along with it as if there were no other options, you know, that seemed a little bit silly, but you know, I, I guess now it's going to be a race to see who gets to first, right? Like who's, Who's gonna you mean save like her? Nina or yeah, who's gonna rescue her? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which still annoys the crap out of me. I wanted to rescue herself. Um, right, right. Yeah. And do you think um well, is Sonny gonna be angry if he finds that Nina knows something and she tried to handle it herself? Yeah, I mean that's what we're getting set up for, is that oh, yeah. once again she's keeping a secret from him and mm -hmm. you know, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. 
um, which yeah. is a tiresome soap trope, I guess. Yes, soap say. trope. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to say about Cody that initially his, you know, acting get committed was mm -hmm. annoying. But mm -hmm. I was sort of drawn into the, these last scenes where he was with the new psychiatrist guy. Uh, where he Ooh. sort of shifted his tone and everything. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, there's a little edge of sadness there that I'm finding yeah. believable. Yeah, um, that was a little bit interesting. Yeah, that think, was, yeah. yeah. That, that yeah. psychiatrist was actually very well cast. That's an example of good casting. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Um, he like you if you look up psychiatrist of actors and like that guy would probably show up. You know, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now going back to <laughs> Ferncliff, um, where Sasha had a moment where she told the nurse what was going on. Mm -hmm. Um, did you did? Well, I I kind of wondered if the nurse. Like, was she being stupid telling the doctor or did she just not believe Sasha? Or do you think she's going to watch now to see if he's going to be, you know? I don't know. They've messed with that nurse so much. Like, yes, they, this would yeah. Made her like a, a bad guy. And then right, right, they yeah. shifted and they waffled, you know? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. And I know there can be gray areas, but I feel like they're just waffling with her for plot mm -hmm. purposes. And it's annoying yeah, yeah. to me. Uh -huh. um, okay. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, she told Montague. Montague? Is that his name? Montague. Eagle, I think that's right. Yeah. The Eagle mm -hmm. Montague. And that was obviously <laughs> quite, you know, if she really believed Sasha, mm -hmm. she'd have an inkling that Montague was the guy, you know. Right. And she um, would have um, watched or known that she yeah. was setting something even worse in motion. So. Right. Right. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. know. I, I, the yeah. whole, I just, it, I, and I feel like I've seen on social media how everybody is. I haven't seen anybody say, "Oh, I love this story," you know. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. everybody's yeah. like, "God ended it so painful, it's so hard <laughs> it's, to watch." And yeah, it is. It is. Why are you doing this to this character? And mm -hmm. you know, it's just. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's rough. It's pretty rough. It's, yeah, uh, and the only, I mean, honestly, like I don't, I don't even want to say this, but to to make it not be sort of like worthless in a way would be to have Sasha permanently damaged, you know? So Gladys would have to live with that for the rest of her life. And, you know, yeah, they see... don't, they don't do shit like that. I mean, no, they don't, they don't. Just as I we know. know that Curtis will rise out of his wheelchair pretty soon <laughs> and walk again, yeah. just like Sonny did, just like everybody yeah, recovers, yeah. you know, it's, uh -huh. uh, yeah. I would have so much respect if they'd commit to yeah. keeping mm -hmm. Curtis in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't, I don't see that happening. Um, I, know. I, know. I know. And uh, I was like, I've, I I kind of came around on Curtis a little bit in the last couple days. Yeah. And this, initially I was like, the pity party is just uh, mm -hmm. overwhelming. And the whole, like the big Stella scene, you know, which was mm -hmm. a little bit like a play or something was. Stella. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like an over the top yeah. drama. Uh huh. Um, but I don't know. At least he kind of, at least he kind of gave himself a little check and, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, and they addressed the sexual function thing a little bit, mm -hmm. which I was yeah. waiting for them to do. Uh huh. Um, yeah. But I, again, I, you know, if this were a real situation, wouldn't all of that been discussed with the doctors at the hospital? Mm hmm. You know, and I mean, maybe Curtis, like, didn't allow. Portia to be in the room when he was being right. Uh, that's possible. I suppose we could give him yeah. that, but you know, she's a doc hospital. Wouldn't she have been involved mm -hmm. in a lot of stuff? Mm -hmm. And yeah, I don't know. It seemed, it seemed like his, his orders going home would have been, first of all, it was seemed preposterous that he would already have been allowed to go home. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And without any like setup of in home care or anything like that. And mm -hmm. I, I saw no evidence of ramps or any changes in that. No, they, they just that... removed the coffee table. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Is that all they have to do? <laughs> you know, yeah. I don't know. I mean, if they want to do PSAs, this would have been a great opportunity to show. Yeah. 
Uh -huh. uh, they had to remodel the kitchen to right, lower the counter, right. you know, and change yeah. the cabinet, everything yeah. uh, involved. Well, in well oh, yeah, right. and, and I guess Portia had been talking about wanting to do a lot of stuff like that, right, or even moving. So maybe, yeah. like, he was fighting all of that, so maybe that's why, you know, they just did this last minute. Well, maybe, but of, he won't be able I don't to know. fix himself a sandwich. No, um, I know. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like it'd be a great opportunity to really uh, give us a very moving storyline. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, and I thought the conversation that they had about like not being able to show he loved her, you know, in the boudoir, it felt so. <laughs> <In the boudoir>. <laughs> 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 it felt so like <laughs> stiff like they'd never met before yeah. you know like it would have yeah. been cool if they had just been sitting together like without anybody else around no danger of anybody walking in and had like a real conversation maybe you know like working up to that you know yeah. I don't know yeah that could um, that could have been interesting too you know yeah I just feel like there's so many missed opportunities yeah like, it's, yeah it's a, it's a story that has real rich possibilities, and mm -hmm. I feel like they're they're going by every single one of them. And uh, yeah, it's it's a medical storyline for one. Yeah, and, I guess that's what I'm really because I'm so hooked in ER that I'm really looking for more. I know that's more what, of that. Yeah. Yep, <laughs> that's what happens when you're a, a trauma junkie, Gia. You know, is you that just, what it is? Yeah, yeah. But also it feels like they've dwelled on some of these other storylines, you know, like ad nauseum, you know, and, and like, like we've, if we had a drinking game with the word pikeman, you know, I, I, think <laughs> I know. And it's so confusing now. Yeah. Pikeman like who even, and you know, and, yeah. And, uh -huh. what? And, Mason. and the WSB, like what the yeah, hell, yeah, like, you know, yeah. What the hell? I don't know. Um, <laughs> like Diane so. asking Robert to talk to the WSB about Drew. It's like, what? <laughs> you know? Yeah. And why do I they, keep, I mean, talk about flogging a dead horse, the Robert yeah. Dunn thing. Yeah. No, I want, I want her that. not to be, yeah. She's too strong and smart a person to. Yeah. I don't know. And I don't yeah. mean to, I, I am old. And so it's, it's I don't know. Maybe it is still ageism, but <laughs> I wouldn't want to see me in a like a love um, storyline story. at that in the boudoir. Age. Yeah, oh. no, nobody mm -hmm. wants to see that. And I feel like that's <laughs> not what they need to do with Diane. And yeah, I don't know. Every time I see his hands and his, what do you call that weird thing where that do picks and something or other thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's an ad for for a horrible, some horrible new hand condition where your fingers get stuck like that, like a. And it's you know whatever. Try this new drug for your dupixent something or other hand condition. I know. I I wish I wish we didn't have so many drug commercials. <laughs> they just yeah. They, you yeah. know, well, who knows what the overall effect of that is on a person, you know? I think good for you. Um, <laughs> anyway, I just feel like that's the kind of stuff we could be covering with Robert. And yeah, mm -hmm. um, and that could be very poignant. Mm -hmm. Or and also they they do have a kind of a nice rapport. It could just be good friends, you know, and who sort that's of respect each other's right. work, you right. know. There's right. nothing wrong with that either. And she could she could go out and, and prowl like the cougar she is. <laughs> you know. Yeah. She, yeah. Yeah. Steal decks away from Joss. <laughs> oh my gosh, wouldn't that be fabulous? Oh my gosh. If you're listening out there, scab riders. Go she for has it. a type and it's Sonny's muscle. <laughs> it's Sonny's muscleman. And and we saw a little like chink in the a little crack yeah, in the love yeah. story between Joss and Dex today because right. you know mm -hmm. Dex is, you know, doing He's his working. job. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's nice to see um, Joss like schlepping dishes at Kelly's. So I kind of like that. I think too. It's kind of funny. I mean, like when Carly was talking about how down to earth the customers were. Like you know, it's <laughs> like 
I don't know. It's like she's she's humbling herself, but she's sort of acknowledging that, you know, she's she's mixing it up with the you know she's, classes yeah, of people. She's getting her hands a little bit dirty and she likes mm-hmm. it and it's gonna mm-hmm. give her a rich life experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like she wasn't one of these people. Right. Um, like she didn't come know. into town like a like almost like a hooker, you know. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Yeah. So I don't know. That's all a little bit funny, but and um, and everybody's like, "Oh, you've done so much with Kelly's." It's like <laughs> we should put a bunch of white flowers around. Flowers, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like them. It's nice. But, yeah, uh, but it's like twelve dollars. I don't. I yeah, mean, I guess that's probably all she could afford. But I think they're new coffee mugs as well. Oh, okay. That say okay. Kelly's on them. I think that's okay. Good. I mean, I, I mean, I, I like I like that Kelly's is back in the mix because I'm a little. I do nostalgic, too. But yeah. Uh, I do too. I'm cool with that. But let's see. Mm-hmm. What else do we have to talk about? Mm-hmm. Well, there's what so about, much. Like, Tracy and Brooklyn and the whole, we just touched on the Deceptor and the whole thing. Yeah. I, I know this, this can't be part of Tracy's agenda. And I feel stupid saying it. But mm-hmm. when I asked Brooklyn to move in with him, I thought, is is this part of Tracy's plan? I don't know. That seems so stupid, but yeah, I don't do have any handle on Tracy's motivation for. No, she's acting like she's doing Brooklyn this favor, but right, it's really just to learn that you know you can't mix business with friendship or whatever. I don't think that's. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Solid lesson there. I mean, she's yeah. never like she and Lucy have never liked each other, but it, right, it doesn't. Right. That doesn't seem to be what's motivating her particularly. No, you know? and it's probably not the money, right? I mean, she shouldn't. Like, she wouldn't think so. Olivia so yeah, we don't. We don't know. know. There's, there's something going on there. Yeah. Yeah. I so I don't get it. I, I thought yeah. she was rocking her outfit though, Tracy. That outfit was so wild. There were times when the when the it didn't look like it was a jacket because it was all so black. It looked like she was wearing this like long bib with white piping. With the white piping, you know, but I thought like if I wore something like that, I'd look like a bag lady, you know, but she kind of <laughs> pulls it all together. If she she would be the one person in the world, I think, who yeah. could pull that off. Yeah. 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 And she did, you know, and of course, mm-hmm. Lucy always rocks whatever dress or anything she's wearing. But I thought, you know, we did have a fashionable courtroom scene with everybody. Um, yeah. And I thought Lucy did a good job overall in all of her different scenes. Yeah. I, I was bummed, though, when they were like six months. I'm like, six months. I, I can't. That's a lot. I cannot maintain interest in this for six no, more months. No, I think we know? lost interest two months ago in this. Yeah. So. It's not looking good. And I don't, like, what is Martin's part? Like, there's some kid, Martin was getting squirrely while they were talking. So squirrely, yeah. There's a lot of squirrely dudes right now. Right? Did you like like the picture of the actual squirrel that I sent you? (laughs) (laughs) That's an aside for (laughs) Mr. or Mrs. One Star. (laughs) See, this is this is what I have to look forward to in text messages from Gia America. Blurry, blurry pictures of squirrels, not even like a clear picture. Well, it was through the window. <laughs> that bastard. I ran it off. Um, yeah. But it has, it has no, it's very, they're very bold. Sure. The squirrels. And mm-hmm. it's like an inch from me. It's like an inch. I could almost grab it, you know, like if I could open that window fast. I could grab it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably be sorry. <laughs> I, I hope so. <laughs> but I'm like, damn it, I just filled that bird feeder. <laughs> Get off of there. Oh, jeez. Anyway, yeah, Martin was being very squirrely. So mm-hmm. he's got a part in this whole Deceptor thing somehow. We know that. Somehow. And then he's talking with Valentine about what we don't know, right? Yeah. Uh, then we got the whole like Cyrus doing all kinds of weird shit, like you know, schmoozing with Drew. That's always hard to watch, but um, yeah, 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 fawning over Drew and what. And I'm, I'm was sure somebody you, else was mentioned again about Drew saving the whole. I was gonna whole say whole I, you, was like, you oh. must have been going crazy when it was Diane talking about what a hero he was. Oh, right? And, yeah. yeah. 
mouth at that point. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure said, he did. God, yeah. Why do they keep hammering that? Like, is that all that guy has as a character? I think it is. <laughs> yeah, and it's even really what they think it is. While we're being negative. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know where I was being negative. Um, <laughs> I feel like we've kind of lost our way with Trina as a character also. Yeah, yeah. I was so, she was such a like power girl. I just, I loved her. And now I feel mm-hmm. like, I don't know. I'm not believing she and Spencer are all that mm-hmm. into each other anymore. Right, yeah. Um, she was like, you know, over the top with Curtis and the dad. Mm-hmm. dad. Don't call mm-hmm. him dad. What are you doing? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't the know. The only thing I I would say this, and I agree, I agree with everything you're saying. I think that's that's a good observation because she does seem like she's sort. Thank of- you. It's finally about time for you to agree with everything I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> don't get used to it. <laughs> um, but I was thinking that you know sometimes relationships sort of develop like because people are kind of bored and they just like they like the emotion and all of that stuff and then when other like part in, in prison or something is that yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah there's i think there's a lot of settings where people sort of manufacture interest in each other they don't even maybe know that it's because they're so bored but like work relationships like work you know things yeah yeah that's people but that you I, I, would be friends with except because you work together and yeah right right and i'm not saying that that's what's happening with those two but it does seem like they've both got a lot of things sort of making demands on their attention and their emotions now so that's that would be reasonable for them not to be like super you know, obsessed with each other right now i guess so but i feel like you know they had such a such a great build up to their yeah they did romance, they did it and then it yeah. fizzled into kind of nothingness now i and, know uh, they don't seem to know how to sustain things once they're they've happened you yeah. know yeah i guess that's they, they they i mean like jumping, writers jumping the shark shows yeah, yeah it seems like, like that. that's the hardest part to do i guess um yeah but uh yeah and i i know we were such fans of that relationship so it's yeah weird to and now think i'm kind of like you know, uh, you know, I'm kind of like, uh, uh, you know, whenever they're yeah, on. Yeah, sort of you know. indifferent. Yeah. I, I feel more spark between he and Esme, which we haven't seen for a few days. But um, Right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. And and we know he's leaving at some point. So yeah. Kinda, uh-huh. I'm not sure if I want to get invested in him and anybody, really. Right. I I right. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the big thing I mentioned is that, it, that Nicholas is – going to be back yes. and uh-huh. it's angry nicholas it's angry um, nicholas yeah mm-hmm. which i'll t- i'll try to you know i'll try to give him give him space give him time he did uh, seem a little cheerier when austin came in right because he was drinking yeah. a beer or something so maybe he's like a happy guy now <laughs> maybe because he got bonked <laughs> on the head yeah and exactly <laughs> that's the go-to for changing yeah. your personality that's right right it was a healing bonk you know yeah the healing bonk. not a um, devastating yeah so anyways that's i guess i'm coming back to my earlier point about we do have more plot movement with yeah writers, uh-huh. and that's a good uh-huh. thing i mean yeah. i do feel like they're just kind of picking up the pieces and tying things together in weird ways yeah yeah um, i think that's that's fair to say mm-hmm. but at least it's moving it along a mm-hmm. lot of stories that needed moving along badly badly yeah badly this whole pikeman bullshit i just don't know how much more of that we can take bullshit yeah 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 i don't know Uh which may be the same bullshit we're not sure (laughs) we're not sure and austin they they he referred to cyrus as the boss right yeah and that seemed weird too like well isn't that what we discovered the other day when they yeah yeah it just seems like like they're not supposed to use his name something i don't know i guess ava was ava in the room when he said that i can't remember i don't remember um i don't know it just still seems weird that that it's cyrus they're talking about i don't know right right yeah that just seemed like a convenient thing that the writers did there but whatever yeah whatever i I like cyrus bring him back you know that's (laughs) cool with me he's good he's creepy he's creepy as all get out 
Oh, he really is. He really is. The Bible yeah. stuff adds to it, you know? Oh, man. Especially, like, if, you know, he's doing all this weird plotting, you know? Yeah, yeah. When yep. when you're not looking. Yeah, yeah, that's when people do it. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I don't, I don't even want to know. Um, um, I, yeah. I think, you know... I, I'm gonna keep watching because you that's are. My job. Yeah, that's my job now. <laughs> I thought maybe we would decide not to watch anymore. <laughs> no, yeah, just to let me put it this. We're all done. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it hasn't been super great lately. But it but that's you know it's had a few moments there. It I it has. Know. I mean, it does feel like you know we've seen a lot of people. I, there's still people that I don't. I just don't understand where what happened to them, like Scotty and Liesel and stuff. I don't I know. know. I know. I know. It's um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I don't know. Maybe that's always been the case that people would disappear for months at a time. But I don't. Yeah. Feel like that was how it used to work. Yeah. Yeah. And Bobby, we don't really have an explanation of where. Right. Oh, and I was thinking, like, what the hell's going on with Laura and Kevin at this point? Oh, yeah. Right. We have a touch base with them. They've mentioned, Carly's mentioned her mother a few times. So I feel like they're building up to something to happening something, there. Because whenever yeah. they mention people, it's like, okay, yeah. they're going to deal with that soon. That's going to mm-hmm. be so sad. Yeah. So yeah. sad. But uh, mm-hmm. anyway, anyway, I'll keep anyway. watching. I think okay. you should too. You think so? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Because okay. I don't want you just on here by yourself talking about stuff. No, then we would get like a even get a quarter star. We wouldn't even get like a, <laughs> a little point of a star. You know? <laughs> oh, jeez, jeez, Louise. Yeah. But no, it's okay. We we don't mind bad reviews. So you deserve them. So. <laughs> we're not we're not inviting them though. <laughs> I am. Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess we just have to expect this sort of thing when we put ourselves out there. Well, yeah, you got to be kind of thick-skinned if you're going to do something idiotic like this. So. Yeah, definitely. I mean, sure, we had that coming. We really did. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, but we appreciate all of you, and uh, yes, yes, even you, Keisha. <laughs> What happened to your voice just now? Gotta take another shower. <laughs> I'm starting to fade a little bit. <laughs> okay, well, well, let's keep watching, and yep, uh, we'll, yep. we'll talk again. And I, I don't think we have any hurricanes scheduled this week, so I'll get back on schedule. So yeah, we might be back to our normal routine for a little bit. Yeah, here, as long yeah. as we can. Okay. All, All right. right. All right, dear. All right. Thanks, everybody, and and you yeah. have a good night. Yes, thank you. Okay, good night, Gia. Okay, see ya. Goodbye.